and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is Kaylee and today we are going to do a 60 minute journey into power vinyasa class so if you're familiar with Baptiste it is a sequence of poses every class is the same it's usually done in heated studios and it is one of my favorite practices it was the first practice I've ever done in yoga and it just has a special place in my heart so I thought that it was time to do this practice on my channel with you all. It will be different from my normal classes in the way that we'll hold poses for a little bit longer, it's a lot of deep breathing and it's more simple than my normal vinyasa flows. So this is really beginner friendly but I wouldn't say that it's necessarily a beginner class so all levels are welcome. You can up level or modify as needed as always. If you like a block or a strap, go ahead and grab it, have them close by. And like I said before, this class is usually heated. So if you have a spot in your house that's a little bit warmer and you like the heat, maybe next to a space heater or in a little spot of sunshine, that could elevate your practice if you're open to it. All right, let's get started in a child's pose today. Taking the knees wide, toes together. Reach the fingers in front of you. Let the forehead rest and close the eyes. Start to deepen the breath. Noticing the expansion on the inhalation and that sense of letting go on the exhalation. Can you let go of tension in your jaw, your eyes, the neck, the shoulders? Beginning to deepen the breath, finding ujjayi, slight constriction at the back of the throat. Knowing that our breath will carry us through this practice, it will anchor us into the present moment. And that you can always come back to child's pose at any time throughout class. You stepped onto your mat for a reason today, so can you be present to experience whatever that reason is. On your next inhalation, come on up, tabletop. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. On your inhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, lift the gaze, cow pose. On the exhale, tuck round, push into the hands, chin towards chest, round the back body. Good, two more like that. Inhale to open through the front body. Exhale to open through the back body. Last one, big breath in, expand, big breath out, pull in. Inhale to come through neutral on the exhale, tuck the toes and the hips high, downward facing dog. Spread the fingers wide across the mat. Root down through the index finger and thumb knuckles. And if you gaze forward, the index fingers point straight forward at 12 o'clock and then all the other fingers fan out from there. Take a soft bend into the elbows and then think about wrapping the triceps underneath, spinning the inner elbows forward. Let the head release, gaze at one point, drishti at the back of the mat. Then start to lift the tailbone high, keep pushing into the hands, feel that lengthen the spine. Keep a soft bend in the knees. And if the hamstrings are feeling tight, you could always take a deep bend into the knees. Continue to breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. On your next inhale, lift the heels. On the exhale, step top of the mat. Inhale, find a halfway lift. On the exhale, heel toe the feet, hips with ragdoll. Hang over the torso, or hang the torso over the legs, rather. Let the head be heavy. Maybe you hold opposite elbows. Letting gravity lengthen the spine. You can rock the weight forward into the toes and then back into the heels. Notice how that changes the sensation of stretch in the legs. Keeping a bend in the knees and then straightening the legs as you open through the backside of the legs, the hamstrings, the calves, the glutes. And let the torso be heavy, let the head be heavy. 
Continuing to let go of any tension in the face, the head, the jaw, the neck that you do not need in this moment. And then gently release the hands to the mat, heel toe the feet together so that the big toes touch. On the inhale, sweep all the way up to stand. Lift up, gaze up. On the exhale, hands travel through the heart, hinge at the hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, Arda. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, Chaturanga. Shift forward and halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. You can always take Cobra. On the exhale, shift the hips back, downward facing dog. Five breaths here. Using the breath as a way to warm the body from the inside out, building heat, fire, tapas. And you can play with walking the hands and feet farther away from each other to deepen this shape, to challenge yourself to your fullest potential. Last breath, deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, lift the heels, exhale, travel, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up to stand, root down into the feet to stand all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, exhale, plant the hands, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Deep breaths, soften the jaw. Find your drishti, your gaze at one point that will help to center the mind, calm the nervous system. Making the breath audible. Last breath here. Next, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep up to stand. Reach up, gaze up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Continue to stay here in this moment. Use your breath to do so. Anytime the mind starts to wander out of this space, come back to the breath, come back to the feeling, the sensation in the body. Next, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. Last on night, inhale, sweep all the way up to stand. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga, step or float. Inhale, exhale. Deep breaths. Can you make each breath a little bit deeper than the last? Next, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Bend the knees. Sit low. Send the weight into your heels so the toes are light. 
pull the low ribs in, spread the fingers wide, and then try to lift the arms in line with the ears. Think about dropping the tailbone down slightly to lengthen the lower back and gaze forward at one point. Draw the shin bones back, sit two inches lower, keep breathing. Again, building fire, heat, tapas. Take a deep breath in, breath out, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step, chaturanga. Up dog to downward facing dog. Right foot forward, warrior one. Roll the back heel down, sweep the arms up to the sky. And then for a moment, let's take the hands to the hips. Walk the feet wide so that they're in line with the hips on train tracks rather than in one line. And think about drawing left hip forward, right hip back. Bend deep into the right knee and press the right knee out slightly so that you can see your right big toe. Press back through the left leg and when you're ready, lift the arms back up to the sky. Think about taking the outer edge of the left foot down. Continue gazing at one point. Low ribs in, front of the head reaching up to the sky. One more deep breath in, breath out, hands to the floor, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Left foot forward, warrior one. Roll the right heel down, sweep the arms up. And then again, take the hands to the hips for a moment. Walk the left foot out if needed and then roll right hip forward, left hip back this time. Reach the arms back up to the sky when you are ready. Deep bend in the left knee. Press back through the right leg. Beautiful. Square the chest forward, pull the low ribs in, spread the toes across the mat. Deep breaths. Last breath, inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor, chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. Beautiful, deep breath in, deep breath out. We'll pick up the pace, inhale, lift the heels, exhale, step or float, top of the mat. Halfway, forward fold, chair pose, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Right leg forward, warrior one. Inhale to rise, sweep up. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Left foot forward, warrior one. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Down dog is your chance to slow the heart rate back down. Take a moment to pause, to be here in stillness. Last breath, inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift the heels, exhale, top of the mat, halfway. Forward fold, inhale, chair, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway, exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Right foot forward, warrior one. Inhale to rise, exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Left foot forward, warrior one, inhale. Exhale, low. Up dog, down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Couple more. Again, come back to you. What can you let go of in this moment that is holding you back from your highest potential?
Next inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, top of the mat, halfway. Forward fold, chair pose, fold. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Right leg forward, warrior one. Inhale to rise. Exhale, vinyasa. Up dog, down dog. Left foot forward, root down or reach up. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Beautiful. Step the feet together at the back of the mat. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, bend the right knee, suck the right hip. Stay here or flip your dog. Parallel the feet. Push into them to lift the hips up. Reach the right arm forward towards the front of the mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, back through plank. Exhale, side plank, right foot. Spin to the outside edge of the foot, right hand down, lift the left arm to the sky. Left foot is on top, modification. Left foot comes in front, or if you want to up level, take the left big toe and lift the leg up. We're here for five, four, three, two, one, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. So the right foot forward, crescent lunge, back heel stays lifted, sweep the arms up to the sky. Take a soft bend in the back knee, inhale, exhale, hands to the heart, twist, left elbow hooks on right thigh. From there, straighten through the left leg, bend deeply into the right, and then press the hands together to deepen the twist. Option to stay right here or open the arms. We're here for five. You could also take the bind, left arm underneath, right leg, connecting with the right hand behind you. For three, for two, and one, open up. Warrior two, roll the back heel down. Side angle, right forearm to the thigh, left arm sweeps by the ear. Press back through the left foot, think long line of energy on the left side of the body, and then spin the chest open towards the sky. Maybe look towards the back of the mat, stay right here, or half bind. Right hand, or left hand to right inner thigh, rather. Roll the left shoulder back, and then maybe gaze over it. You can stay here. Three quarters bind, right hand down inside of the right foot, or full bind, right arm wraps underneath. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Step the feet together, left leg to sky. Bend the knee, stack the hip. Um, flip dog. Step the feet down, parallel them. Reach the left fingers towards the front of the mat. I always cue wild thing from here. It feels good to do something different. Push into the feet and then squeeze. Left shoulder blade in towards the midline. Beautiful, high plank to side plank, left side, right arm lifts. And then you up level or modify from here. Five, four, three, two, and one, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Left foot forward, crescent lunge, inhale to sweep up. Soft bend in the back knee, exhale, hands through the heart, twist. Right elbow, hooks on left thigh. Once you're there, now straighten the right leg and really press into the hands to twist deeper. Root down through your left big toe and squeeze the inner thighs together. Rotate from the shoulders. Good option, arms open or find the bind. It's hard with that mic, that's where my arm wants to be. We're here for four. For three, two, and one, open up, warrior two. Sink low into the left knee, side angle. Left arm to the thigh, right arm sweeps by the ear. Roll the chest to the sky, press into the outside edge of the right foot. 
Tuck the tailbone under slightly, and again, open the chest. Option to stay or find the half bind, maybe three quarters, or maybe full bind. Deep breaths. Last three, last two, and one chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway. Forward fold. Chair pose. Bend the knees, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart. Twist over to the right. Left elbow, hooks on right thigh. Press the hands together. Sit low here. You can take a peek at your knees and make sure they're in one line. So draw the left knee back just slightly. Continue to press into the hands and roll the right shoulder blade in towards the midline. Sit the hips as low as you can get them. Bring the weight into the heels. Option to stay right here or open the arms. If side crow is in your practice, you are more than welcome to take that right now as well. Think about twisting from the shoulders. Crown of the head reaches forward, tailbone reaches back, lengthening through the spine. Sit lower, twist more. Take a deep breath in, breath out, forward fold. You'll toe the feet, hips with Padangustasana. Fingers around the big toes. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the elbows out to the sides and fold over the legs. Draw the shoulder blades down the back just slightly and let the head melt down towards the ground. Roll the weight forward into your toes now to deepen the stretch. Keep a soft bend in the knees. Draw the tailbone high to the sky. Beautiful release, crow pose. I like to heel toe my feet together to get into it. Lift the heels, draw the knees to the back of the arms, spread the fingers, lean forward, lift the legs, and then try to straighten the arms from there. Keep squeezing everything in towards the midline. Take a deep breath in, breath out, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Great work, inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift the heels, exhale, top of the mat. Halfway, forward fold, chair pose, bend the knees, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands through the heart, twist, right elbow, left thigh. Press the hands together, roll the left shoulder blade in towards the midline. Try to lift the torso away from the thighs a bit. Beautiful, send the weight into the heels, toes are light. And again, check out the knees, make sure they're in one line. Deep breaths. Sit two inches lower, good. Option to stay or open up the arms, maybe a side crow. Take a deep breath in, breath out, forward fold. Gorilla Padahastasana, hands all the way underneath the feet, toes to wrists, keep us hopping in the knees. Lean forward on your inhale halfway, exhale, bend the elbows and fold over the legs. And give out isometrically, pulling the hands out from underneath the feet. So that same action like you are going to, Pull them out, but it, they won't move. That will help to draw the torso closer to the thighs, deepen, stretch. Beautiful, gently release, crow pose. Second time, option for a Malasana squat, of course. Lift the feet, lift the heels, draw the knees, 
towards the armpits, lifting the feet, squeeze everything in towards the midline, maybe straighten the legs, or straighten the arms rather, and then chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway, forward fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, eagle, right leg over, right arm under. Squeeze the arms together, squeeze the legs together. Lift the elbows in line with the shoulders. Think about a flat back, like you're leaning against a wall and then deep bend in the knees. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, eagle, left leg over, left arm under. Press the hands together, lift the elbows, sit low. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Sweep up, eagle, right leg over, right arm under. Inhale to sweep up. Exhale, last one, eagle, left leg over, left arm under, press the palms together. Inhale to sweep up, exhale, hands to the heart center, standing leg raise, balance on the left leg, pull the right knee in, option to hold it with the hand or fingers to big toe, you could also grab a strap here. Kick the leg forward, roll the right shoulder back in towards the midline so the shoulders are square. Gaze at one point, drishti. Deep breaths, root down through the standing foot. Open it out to the right. As you gaze towards the left, you could open the left arm. Move back through center, switch the grip, left hand to right foot, right arm opens out. Move back through center, release the arms all the way up to the sky, flex the right foot, take a deep breath in, breath out, airplane. Kick the right foot back, soft bend in the standing knee, gaze forward, squeeze the shoulder blades together, a little bit of up dog in the chest. Take a deep breath in. Breath out, hands to heart, half moon, left hand down, right arm to the sky. Flex the right foot, square the hips towards the right side of the mat, and kick the right leg long in line with the hip. Spread the right fingers. Option to stay here or bend the knee and find Chapasana. Kick the foot into the hand, squeeze everything in towards the midline, and then kick right foot into right hand. Beautiful, take a deep breath in, breath out, forward fold. Inhale, stand all the way up, sweep up. Exhale, hands to heart. Left foot, left knee, standing leg raise. Left fingers can go around, left big toe. Again, roll the left shoulder back in towards the midline. Gaze at one point, stand up tall. And then open. Left leg to the left, gaze to the right, maybe reach the right arm out. Come back through center, switch, right hand, left foot, left arm reaches out, gaze follows the fingertips. Inhale to move back through center, lift the left leg, flex the toes, lift the arms, exhale, fly it, airplane. Kick the left leg back. Reach the fingers by the sides and then pull the shoulder blades in towards the midline. Little lift in the heart. Take a deep breath in. Breath out, hands to heart. Right hand down, left arm high. Half moon. Right down through the right foot. Block is great underneath the bottom hand. Spread the toes across the mat. And then maybe bend into the knee. Think about squeezing left shoulder blade in towards the midline and then shining everything out from there.
Take a deep breath in, breath out, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale to sweep all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart, dancer. Balance on the left leg, pull the right heel in towards the glute, catch the right foot. Left arm lifts to the sky and then kick. Foot into hand, hand into foot, square the hips. Think about kicking back and then lifting up. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one, switch. Windmill the arms, left foot, and then kick. Gaze at one point. Pull the low ribs in, kick out, reach up, and then switch. Left foot down, bend into the right knee. Find your dancer. Second time on the right side. We'll hold here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Lift higher, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch, right hand down, left arm high. Go right into it, kick the foot into the hand, lift the right arm, beautiful. Keep breathing. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, job. Tree pose, right foot, left inner thigh, hands travel to the heart. Deep breaths, gaze at one point. Push the right foot into the left thigh, left thigh into the right foot to create that counterbalance. And then maybe reach the arms up to the sky. Gaze could follow the fingertips. I'm feeling pretty wobbly today. So I'm gonna gaze straight forward. Maybe even close the eyes, really challenge your balance. Beautiful hands to the heart, right foot down. Left foot in tree pose. Deep breaths. Press the left knee back. Reach the crown of the head to the sky. Reach the arms up. Again, maybe gaze follows. Hands through the heart center, release the left foot. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog to downward facing dog. Right foot forward, warrior one. Warrior two. Straighten the right leg. Triangle pose, right hand down to the outside of the right shin. Block is there if you need it. Root down through the left foot and then think about lifting the left fingertips to the sky. Beautiful. Stack the shoulders, stack the hips. Spin the inner thighs towards the sky. Next inhale, come all the way up. Parallel the feet, reach the fingers to the sky. We'll go cow face bind, right hand down. Bend the elbow, take the right hand to the middle of the shoulder blades and bend the left arm to capture the fingertips. If this isn't there, strap is your friend. Root down through the feet, take a deep breath in, maybe baby back bend. Exhale, fold, press the Rita. Let the head drop towards the mat, tailbone lift towards the sky, and bring the weight forward into the toes to deepen the stretch. Ujjayi. Beautiful, next inhale, stand up, keep the bind. Turn towards the front of the mat, pyramid. Step the left foot in a few inches. Right toes spin forward, square the hips. Take an inhale, exhale, fold over the right leg. Try to take the right rib cage to the outside of the right thigh. Maybe forehead towards shin or knee. Keeping the, the spine long. Mm. 
Beautiful twisting triangle. Left hand to hip, or left hand to the outside edge of the right foot. Right hand to hip. Square the hips so that the sacrum is flat, and then maybe lift the right arm, twist. Gaze up towards the right hand. Keep pressing back through the left foot. Keep squaring the hips, keep rotating. Deep breath in, breath out, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Left foot forward, warrior one, inhale to rise. Warrior two, triangle, straighten the right, straighten the left leg, reach the left fingertips forward. Hinge forward, find your triangle pose. Left hand down, right arm to the sky. Again, open the chest towards the side of the mat. Think about stacking the shoulders, the hips, and finding length here. Continue to breathe. Next inhale, use your core, come on up. Parallel the feet, reach the fingers up to the sky, this time left arm down, and then bend into the right elbow, take hold. Take a big breath in, maybe baby back bend. Exhale, prasarita, fold over the legs. You can pigeon toe the feet slightly, toes in, heels out, and then drop forward from there. Deep breath. Beautiful, next inhale, come all the way up, keep the bind, left toes forward, right foot steps in slightly, square the hips, take an inhale, exhale, fold, pyramid. Try to take the left rib cage to the outside of the left leg. Spine long, tailbone reaching back, crown of the head reaching forward. And then twisting triangle, right hand down, left hand to the hip or sacrum. And then once you found your alignment, lift the left arm to the sky. Gaze could follow the left fingers. Keep squaring the hips, left hip back, right hip forward. Keep twisting. Deep breath in. Breath out, chaturanga. Up dog to downward facing dog. Next inhale, shift forward to a high plank. Exhale to lower all the way to the mat. Taking a moment here, laying one side of the face onto the mat, arms come down by the sides. Finding your breath. And then switch the head to the opposite side. Forehead or chin to the mat, walk the feet in towards each other, reach the fingers behind you to interlace. We're going to lift up into a locust, squeeze everything in towards the midline, and then use an in-breath to lift. Shoulder blades pulling in, thighs pulling in and up. Point or flex the feet, gaze slightly forward, neck is long. Lift the thighs, lift the ribs, keep breathing. And then gently release, resting one side of the face on the mat. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Forehead or chin to the mat, bow pose, bend the knees, catch the ankles or the feet, squeeze everything in towards the midline. On your inhale, lift up, kick the feet into the hands, press down through the pelvis, gaze forward, squeeze the shoulder blades in towards the midline, kick more, lift up, and then release. Opposite side of the cheek onto the mat. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. One more bow pose, bend the knees. Curl the feet in, squeeze everything in, and then inhale to lift. Come to your highest point. Keep breathing. Really kick, lift up, and then release. Forward facing dog, hands by the ribs, lift the hips, push into the feet, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in 
and a deep breath out. Camel, drop the knees, untuck the toes, or keep them tucked if you like that. Let's start with hands at the sacrum. We'll do two rounds. Push the hips forward so they stay stacked over the knees, and then squeeze the shoulder blades together to make a shell for the heart. Lift up first, take a deep breath in. Breath out, start to lean back, opening up through the heart. Pressing the hands into the low back, the sacrum for support. Continuing to keep the hips over the knees. Beautiful, next inhale, come on up. Exhale, down dog. Bend into the knees slightly, send the hips back, lengthening through the spine. Beautiful, one more, drop the knees. This time, hands to the feet, if that is in your practice. So you can start with hands at the hips, lifting up, leaning back, and then drop the hands down to the heels. Again, push the hips forward. They wanna stay in line with the knees. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Open up through the chest, the torso, feels so good. Maybe dropping the head back, opening up through the throat. Keep breathing. Beautiful, and then come all the way back up. Downward facing dog. Again, bend into the knees, send the hips high. Lengthen through the spine. Take a deep breath in. Breath out, gaze forward, and hop the feet in between the hands. Bridge pose, we're on our back. Come all the way down. Step the feet about hips with, spread the toes, arms reach down by the sides on your in-breath. Lift the hips, squeeze everything in, shoulder blades, hands interlace, root down through the feet. Use them to lift the hips higher. Pull the low ribs in, belly button to spine. And then release all the way down. We'll take a few more back bends. Take a deep breath to clear. Inhale. And exhale, sigh, let it go. Beautiful wheel pose. Walk the feet, hips width. Arms come by the shoulders. If this is in your practice, bridge pose is where it's at for you. Use an in-breath to lift, push into the feet. Straighten the arms, spread the fingers. Feet parallel. And then lift the hips. And tuck the chin in towards the chest. Come all the way back down. You can let the knees turn in towards each other in between each back bend. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Wheel pose. Hands reach back on the in breath. Lift up. Press down. Root into the feet. Root into the hands. Think about lifting with the legs. Really push into the feet and feel that activate the back bend from the legs. And then release chin towards chest, come all the way down. Knock the knees in towards each other. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Wheel pose. Set the hands and feet on the in-breath, come on up. Press into the feet, press into the hands. Keep breathing. Stay with it, believe in yourself. Chin towards chest, come on down. We'll do two more. Knock the knees in for a moment. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, sigh, let it go. Set the feet, set the hands. Inhale to lift. Press into the hands and feet. Let the head relax. Find your breath. And then chin towards chest, come all the way down. One more, deep breath in, deep breath out. Beautiful, walk the feet in, reach the fingers back, set it up, inhale to lift. We'll hold this one for 10, nine, spread the fingers, push into the feet, six, 
five, root down into the feet a little bit more, four, three, two, and one, chin towards chest, come all the way down. Great work, Supta Baddha Konasana, feet together, knees wide. You can take the hands to the tops of the thighs right underneath the hip bone and just gently press the thighs forward. Let the shoulders scrunch up by the ears. This will lengthen the lumbar spine. Feels so good after doing a back bend. And then when you're ready, release the hands anywhere along the body or by the sides. Closing the eyes down for a moment. Taking deep breaths. Back bends are pretty invigorating, so just noticing how you feel, what's going on, mind, body, breath in this moment. And let this shape, this moment of stillness ground you. Feel the corners of the body that are pressing into the mat, the edges of the feet, the glutes, the pelvis, the elbows, the arm bones, the shoulders, the head. Beautiful. Draw the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. You can rock side to side, make some circles. And then find happy baby, knees wide, soles of the feet to the sky, flex the toes, draw the tailbone down towards the ground and let the shoulders be heavy here. You could rock, you could stay in stillness. As always, what feels good for you in this moment? Can you give yourself permission to listen to your body, your intuition, what it needs right here, right now? Beautiful, gently release feet all the way up to the sky. We'll do a little bit of core work. Hands to the back of the head, legs straight up, elbows wide. Lift the head, neck, shoulders up and just pulse. Use the out breath to lift, feet active, belly button to spine. Chin away from the chest, pelvis rooted. Halfway there, lift to your highest point and stay there. Challenge yourself. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lay the head back, sit on the forearms or arms by the sides. Lower the legs to 30%, pull the belly button down. Lower the legs to 60%. Maybe gaze forward, lower the legs two inches from the mat, hold for four, three, two, one, lift the legs up, lower the head back down, bicycles, hands behind the head, bend the knees, twist right, left. You can go fast, slow, controlled. You decide here, wherever you are, deep breaths and think about twisting from the shoulders. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs up, sit on the forearms, lower the legs 30%, 60%, maybe lift the head two inches. Legs go side to side for five, four, three, two, one. Bring them back up, pull the knees into the chest, find a twist. Knees drop over towards the left. Gaze towards the right, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Come back through center and switch. Knees over to the right, gaze towards the left. And then move back through center, pull the knees in, rock and roll as many times as you meet. We'll meet in a down dog, you can vinyasa on the way. Or just go right back to down dog as well. 
Pigeon right shin across the top of the mat. Figure four is there. If you need, come on down. Left leg in line with the hip. Square the hips to the front of the mat and then lower over the right leg. You could use a block. You could use your hands as a pillow. Wherever you are, flex the right foot. And then focus on releasing the tension in the hip. And also releasing tension in the jaw, the shoulders, the parts of the body that aren't necessarily being stretched in this shape. Notice if they tend to hold tension when you're put in this stretch. On an inhale, come up. Send the hips back, down dog, and switch sides. Left shin across the top of the mat, right leg back in line with the hip, and then lower yourself. Left foot is flexed. Beginning to relax through the torso, the jaw, And your next inhale, come back up onto the hands. We'll roll to the hip to sweep the right foot forward for double pigeon. Left shin across the top of the mat and then stack the right on top of left. I like to adjust my hips, so I'll just walk them over towards the left a little bit. Flex the foot, or both feet rather, important here. And think about pressing the right knee down towards the mat. And then from here, you can start to hinge forward Hands can be at the feet to remind them to flex, or you could walk the arms out in front of you. Think about keeping a long spine here, so dropping the tailbone down, flattening through the low back, and reaching the crown of the head forward. And when you're ready, come on up and we'll just switch. Right shin down, left on top, flex the feet. Sit up nice and tall to start and then hinge forward. Maybe noticing one side is tighter than the other. Mine definitely are. And as you notice things like that, you just modify as needed, adjust as needed. To give yourself the similar sensation of stretch.
Beautiful, walk yourself back up, straighten the legs, forward fold. Start with a bent knee, reach the fingers up to the sky and then hinge forward, folding anywhere along the thighs, the shins or the feet. Think about taking the belly down towards the thighs, reach the crown of the head forward, shoulder blades down the back body, heels away from you, and finding a fold. And then inhale to come up, reverse table, step the feet in, walk the hands back on your in-breath, lift the hips, maybe drop the head back. Really press in the hands. This is a beautiful stretch for the front of the shoulders, the chest. And then gently release, come all the way onto the back, pull the knees into the chest, Grab your block for waterfall or shoulder stand. I'm just gonna lift the legs up. If you have a block, place it underneath your sacrum. Arms by the sides. If you're going into shoulder stand, hands by the low back, lift the hips. And stack all the joints in one line. Letting gravity do the work here. Releasing tension from the feet, the legs. Continue to breathe deeply. And then if you're in shoulder stand, option for plow. You could also take plow if you were in waterfall. Just move that block off to the side. Feet step down behind you or bend the knees in towards the forehead. Arms can stay at the low back or they can reach down. Maybe you even interlace the fingers. Beautiful stretch for the back. Option for deaf man's pose, draw the knees towards the ears, squeeze everything in. And then from here, so uncontrolled, we're lower onto our back. Pull the knees into the chest one final time, give yourself a squeeze, find Supta Baddha Konasana or full Shavasana. Close the eyes. Let the arms rest anywhere on the body or by the sides that feels good. And once you arrive in your shape, start to let the breath return to its natural rhythm. So letting go of that sense of control that you've had over the breath for the past 60 minutes. And simply allowing it to flow. Remembering that the body keeps you alive all day, every day, by breathing on its own. So can you sink into that trust, that knowing that your body is taking care of you in each moment, and you have the ability to fully surrender right here, right now. And if the mind wanders, just bring it back. Come back to this feeling, your body, in this space. You can follow the breath without controlling it. And know that this time in stillness is so beneficial, so important for the mind, for the body, for the soul. So commit to staying present, commit to staying here.
deep breath in and a deep breath out. You can wiggle your fingers, your toes. Maybe reach the arms up overhead. And then roll over onto one side. Press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Keep the eyes closed. Sit up tall. Draw the hands towards the heart center. Press the palms together. As always, checking in in this last moment of class, noticing how you feel, what's shifted, and finding that feeling of gratitude for simply showing up to do something for you today. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. Hands travel to the forehead. Together we say namaste. Great work. I hope you love this class. It was different than normal, so please let me know in the comments below if you did like it. Consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps to support me, and I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.